hello students welcome to my channel engineers academy do hit the subscribe button if you are here for the first time now we are going to solve this problem from vector mechanics by baron johnston and the problem says that two cables are tied together at c and are loaded as shown determine the tension in cable ac and in cable bc so here we have these two cables ac and cable bc and here we have a force of 660 newton so since this point c is stationary it's in equilibrium uh, so we are required to find the tension in this bc rope and the tension in this ac rope so if this point c is in equilibrium and we have we are dealing with three forces or three tensions so if this point c is in equilibrium as i have discussed in the previous video then these three forces must make a closed triangle if the resultant is zero by head to tail rule so first of all let me draw the free body diagram so we have that point c and at point c we have a 660 newton force which is acting in the horizontal direction so this is our 660 newton and then we have this uh, the tension in this b0 so this is our we can say that this is our tension in BC rope and let me put it here at point C. So this will be our tension in BC rope and similarly we will have the tension in AC rope. So let's say this is my tension in AC rope. So this is the tension in AC. So the tension in both the cables is required we we need to find tbc and tac now if we look into this diagram uh we need to find this angle let's say this angle is alpha and this ang angle is beta and we are given these dimensions three meters 1.4 meters and 2.25 so now to find this angle alpha we can use this right angle triangle and we can apply tan alpha so this is uh angle alpha and if we apply tan alpha to this right angle triangle, then the tan alpha will be perpendicular. So the perpendicular for this alpha angle is this, which is 3 meters. And the base is this, which is 2.25. So tan alpha will be 3 divided by 2.25. So now we can find alpha by taking tan inverse. So alpha will be equal to tan inverse 3 divided by 2.25. So 10 inverse 3 divided by 2.25 gives me 53.13. So alpha is equal to 53.13 degrees. Similarly, to find angle beta, let's say this BC rope is making angle beta here. Let's say that this rope is making angle beta. So this angle is angle beta. And again, we can use this right angle triangle to find uh, angle beta and now we can apply tan beta so for tan beta this will be the perpendicular and this will be the base so tan beta the perpendicular is 1.4 meters and the base is 2.25 meters so beta will be equal to tan inverse 1.4 divided by 2.25 so tan inverse 1.4 this gives me angle equals to so beta angle equals to 31.89 degrees now this tac this tac the tension in ac rope is making angle alpha which is 53.13 so let me write it this is 53.13 degrees and this tension in bc is making angle beta here which is 31.89 so this is 31.89 and this particular point is point c now since point c is in equilibrium the uh, the summation of these three forces must be equals to zero and so that means that if we aid these three forces by head to tail rule uh, so their resultant must be equals to zero so, and if they make a closed triangle since these are three forces so if so if they constitute the three sides of a triangle the resultant must be equal to zero so now let me copy this tbc this is the tbc so tbc 
and this is my TAC so now I will place the TAC on the head of uh, TBC so let me write that this is um, this is the TBC without changing the orientation I have placed TBC here and without changing the orientation I have placed TAC the tail of TAC on the head of TBC and similarly um, we will since this 60 newton force is uh, horizontal so again i need to place the tail of this 660 newton uh, force on the head of tac we want to aid these three forces by head to tail rule now they they are not making a closed triangle since the length of the vectors are not up to uh, the exact length since these are the approximate lengths we do not know the exact magnitudes of these three tensions so the the length of the arrow deals with the magnitude of the tensions so the length can be varied but the orientation cannot be varied so now i can uh, increase the length of this and i can increase the length of this uh, tbc as well we need to make the closed triangle so now this is that 660 newton now we know that uh, this tac is making angle 53.13 with the horizontal with the that angle alpha this is this is that horizontal line this is that horizontal line and this is that angle alpha and similarly tbc is making um, beta angle with the horizontal so this is that tbc and it is making that angle beta so we can write that angle beta here which is uh, 31.89 degrees Similarly, as we can see that this is horizontal line and this is horizontal line. So if this angle is 53.13, then this angle is also 53.13 since both of these angles are alternate angles. So we can write that this angle is also angle alpha, which is 53.13. And now what about this angle? So we can, we can always find this angle by subtracting these two angles from 180 degrees since the sum of the angles of a triangle is always equal to 180 degrees. So, so let's say if this angle is theta, then we can say that one, uh, we can say that theta plus 53.13 plus 31.89, this must be equals to 180 degrees. Or we can say that theta is equal to 180 minus 53.13 minus 31.89. So this is 180 minus 53.13 minus 31.89. So theta equals to 94.98. So now we can write that this theta is 94.98. So let me write that um, this angle is Ninety-four point nine eight. So now we know all the three angles. So we need to find TAC and TBC. We can find TAC and TBC by applying the law of sines. So now we can say that TAC divided by the sine of the opposite angle. So this is TAC, and the opposite angles to this TAC is thirty-one point eight nine. So TAC divided by the sine of thirty-one point eight nine degrees equals to six sixty divided by the sine of the opposite angles to 660 so this is 660 and the opposite angle is this so the sine of 94.98 so from this we can say if we multiply both sides of equation by sine of this so this will cancel out and we will have we will have 660 sine of this divided by this so let's find this tac is 660 multiply by sine of 31.89 divided by sine of 94.98 so this is tac is approximately 350 we got 349.99 so we can say that uh, tac is approximately equal to 350 newtons since this uh, given force is in newtons so the unit of this tac must be in newtons so TAC is 350 newtons. Again, by applying sin, uh, law of sines, we can say that TBC divided by the sine of the opposite angle. So this is TBC and the opposite angle is this. So sine of 
0.13 this is equal to 660 divided by the sine of the opposite angle which is 94.98 and again multiplying both sides of equation by this we will get tbc equals to 660 multiply by sine of this divided by this so tbc is um 660 sine of uh, 53.13 divided by sine of 94.98 so this is 530 so tbc tbc is equal to 530 newtons So TAC is 350 Newton and TBC is 530 Newton. So this is the solution of this particular problem. I hope it will help you in your learning. Let me know in the comments if this helps in your learning. Do subscribe Ingenious Academy for the solution of such more problems from Vector Mechanics by Baron Johnston.